Want to learn how to get more Salmon Run scales in Splatoon? Well, thankfully we have new data mine information which has helped us learn the algorithm for gaining scales when facing against a King Salmonid. These scales can be used to purchase exclusive items from Grizzco, including these lovely suits, and the more scales that you spend, the more rewards that will become visible. So if you want everything, you're going to need a lot of these and more rewards will likely be added in the future. Now actually beating a King Salmonid is a whole different beast and there are already some great guides online which will help you a lot so I'm not going to get into that here. Instead I want to try and lay this information out in a fairly simple manner so you can understand how to get the most scales you possibly could when facing against the boss. Lean Yoshi has shared a Twitter thread with information they've gathered. They say, the number of scales depends on two factors. Your time left and the amount of HP the boss has left. You get two scales guaranteed simply by encountering the boss. For each 12.5% HP the boss loses, you get one more scale. So, even by just merely encountering the boss, you'll get yourself some scales, which is good. I know a lot of people still have trouble actually beating this guy, so it's not completely hopeless but this isn't going to really get you those silver and gold scales which is what you'll really want. In simple terms here, the more damage you can do to the boss the better, as that will increase your scale count. When you manage to beat the boss, you get one more additional scale for every 10 seconds left on the timer for up to 3 additional scales. The rarity of each scale is calculated independently and it only depends on your hazard level. Gold scales start with 0%, silver scales with 5%. For each additional hazard level, the probability for gold increases by 0.009% and for silver by 0.045%. So lots to break down here. The faster you can beat the King Salmonid is definitely an important factor as this can get you up to 3 more scales in total. Now in terms of getting those gold and silver scales, we have to look at hazard levels. It's kind of complicated to explain how hazard levels work within this video, so I'm going to try and keep things really simple but there's plenty of detailed information about this online if you want to do your research. Basically though, your hazard level is the overall difficulty of a Salmon Run match, and you can see this number when going to your battle log in the lobby menu. The higher your rank in Salmon Run, generally the higher your hazard level will be, with it maxing out at 3-3-3. The higher your hazard level is, the better chance at getting gold and silver scales, although these percentages are honestly a bit stingy. This means that the maximum you can get is 13 scales, with a chance of 3% for a gold scale and 20% for a silver scale. So that's all really great information to know. It doesn't necessarily make getting these scales any easier, but it's still important to understand how it works. The odds of getting scales, especially gold scales, really isn't that great. It wouldn't surprise me if Nintendo does rework this system slightly in the future to make it a little bit more generous. After all, plenty of people aren't even beating this boss currently, and when they do, they still can't expect to get a ton of scales from doing so, even at the highest hazard level. We know now how and when you'll actually encounter an extra wave King Salmonid as well. Oatmeal Dome shared this tweet. The King Salmonid chance meter is internally called your smell. It is a value between 0 and 5 and increases by 1 every match. To calculate your encounter chance, the game adds up everyone's smell and selects a percentage chance based on the sun. In game, this is your Samo meter and you can actually see this in the top right corner of the screen and it'll typically end up getting more filled up after you do some matches. Lean Yoshi originally shared smell is a value between 0 and 5 for each person. The probability to encounter the boss is based on team smell and they shared a graphic which shows you the percentages alongside your team smell. Now, this kind of confused me at first, and I wouldn't be surprised if others feel the same hearing this, so here's a good way of explaining it thanks to a tweet reply. Levi says, So, if you're running with four friends, all having the same meter because you're playing the same rounds, one can assume you would have two rounds with no possibility, zero for first, four for second. And from there, it takes percentage jumps the more you do. Lin Yoshi replied yes, and then Levi replied again saying, so optimally, in a full quad, your chances will be round 1, 0%, round 2, 0%, round 3, 10%, 4, 30%, 5, 60%, and 6, 100% chance. This definitely made it a lot clearer to me, and hopefully it will for you as well. Overall, it feels like Nintendo needs to do some work on the system, as it's just way too stingy right now. But it's great that data miners have been able to find out this information, we have a much better understanding of how to get the most scales we can in Salmon Run, 
as well as how often we can realistically expect to encounter the extra wave. I'll leave links to the data miners in the description, and I really hope you found this information as useful as I did. Let me know your thoughts, and how many scales have you actually been able to get yourself so far? If you made it to the end, be sure to comment Splat Gang down below so I know that you did. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and turn on channel notifications for more Splatoon content.